You said the military is not going to have a law enforcement role, but are they going to have any other kind of role where they're actually engaging with the migrants coming over in a support type or helping them out type or anything? Or is it, or because I understand there's a, there's a difference between law enforcement type and so is going to be any interaction between them and the migrants uh, at all? So there's n there's not an anticipated interaction between our personnel that are going down and the migrants there. Um, they're responsibilities are, are strictly back of house or mainly back of house uh, or back of warehouse I should say um, they'll be doing data entry and monitoring and helping with surveillance capabilities but the intention is not for them to be interacting with migrants for for that that would be more of a DHS role um, and I would refer you to uh, you know Customs Border Patrol and also DHS just for more specifics on on what they do when interacting with migrants yeah Travis um. I just wanted to check to make sure that there aren't any outstanding requests from other agencies for military assistance at the border um, and whether there's an anticipation that there will be a need for more U.S. troops to go down there. Um, at the moment, I'm not aware of any other um, requests for DOD support at the border. I mean, it, it mainly come through DHS, and of course, they made that request. Um, this is a this is a temporary um, positioning of our service members down there. Of course, if DHS requests more or re uh, requests an extension, we um, would certainly review that option and haven't ruled anything off the table. But for right now, that deployment is just for those 90 days. Yeah. Yes, in the back. It has been claimed that they're going to launch satellite uh, as they schedule. So do you have any indica indication that North Korea prepared a launch satellite? I, I don't have any I don't have anything more to share on that on that front. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, Rio. 